Njwa kana Muhammadi ni muadhani wa angai na mudhia wa adhani. Najua wengi mmepotea katika hiyo lakini ndio kikamba hicho. Eh. Dini inafikishwa kwa watu wote. Na alhamdulillah sijatembea peke yangu pia kuna ustadhi mwingine hapa anaitwa Sheikh Hassan. Ni katika wale madai anatoka sehemu za Nyanza. Ni katika wale madai wanaofanya kazi kubwa ni mjaluo lakini sisi wote ni mandugu kulingana na Qur'ani Mwenyezi Mungu anasema A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajim Inna al-mu'minuna hiqwa Waislamu wote ni mandugu Waislamu wote ni mandugu Mandugu kwa sababu undugu huo eh unatamba kila mahali Muislamu aliye Tanzania ni ndugu yetu ni ndugu yangu. Muislamu alio alioko Uganda ni ndugu yangu. Kwa hivyo ndugu huo uko dunia mzima. Na unaona Muislamu akiwa kwa shida, Muislamu hawezi kumwacha hawezi kumwacha ndugu yake akiwa kwa shida. Na ndio kitu mimi nimesilimu nimekuja kukiona kuwa kuna undugu katika Uislamu. Ni dini ya ajabu sana. Sisi hata kabla ya kusilimu si hatakuwa tunajua Uislamu ni nini tume tume tumekaa kuangiza tumekaa kwa, kwa yani atakuwa tunajua uislamu ni nini tulikuwa tumeka tulikuwa tulikuwa kwa kwenye ngiza lakini tuliposilimu tukapata nuru tukapata ukweli tukapata uislamu ndio dini ya kweli tulikuwa tunasema Yesu ni Mungu tunasema Yesu ndio kila kitu Yesu ndio mponyaji Yesu ndio Mungu wetu Muislamu hapa mnaniona hapa nimeimba sana. Nimechezea Yesu sana. Nimecheza gita, nimecheza kila aina ya instrument katika kanisa. Lakini Allah akaona huo mja wake e, muda umefika wa kuteremsha nuru yake juu yangu. Na nuru ikanifikia alhamdulillah mpaka sasa hizi mimi ni Muislamu. Alhamdulillah wallahi naweza sema katika zawadi ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu amenijalia ni kunijalia mimi kuwa Muislamu. Hakuna zawadi zaidi ya hiyo. Na namuomba Allah nijalie nife katika hali ya Uislamu. Ndugu zangu wasikilizaji naweza sema Muislamu umenitoa pabaya. Imenitoa yani umenitoa katika ngiza na ukaniingiza katika nuru. Nashukuru sana Mwenyezi Mungu kunijalia na kila siku nashukuru kwa ibada zangu na kwa dua zangu na kwa dhikiri zangu kila siku namtaja Allah. Sasa hizi namtaja Allah. Nilikuwa nimemkufuru kwa miaka mingi lakini Allah kaninusuru katika ile kufuru. Sasa hizi nasema Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Namtaja Allah kila siku. Kila dhikiri namtaja Allah. La haula wala quwwata illa billah. La haula wala quwwata illa billah kila siku namtaja Allah ni katika neema ambazo Mwenyezi Mungu ametujalia kuna kitabu hapa nimeandika na lengo na madhumuni kuja sehemu hii inshallah nilikuwa nimetakaraje nimefanya khuruji kidogo kuwatembelea waislamu nikija mazingara ya Kiislamu nafurahia sana na ukiingia mazingara ya Kiislamu lazima kutakuwa na nuru nuru yenyewe inajidhihirisha Uislamu unajidhihirisha Uki, ukiingia tu sehemu unasikia ma, yani ile ile attitude inabadilika hewa inabadilika dalili zote yani kila kitu kinabadilika ukiingia katika nuru sehemu ambayo iko na nuru na nuru yenyewe ni Uislamu unapata Uislamu umejaa kila mahali unasikia adhana Allahu akbar Allahu akbar kila mahali unamsikia Allah natajwa mpaka we mwenyewe unachanganyikiwa utaenda msikiti gani <laughs> Yaani huku ni nuru imejaa. Wallahi waislamu sijazoea 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 kusikia adhana. Simu mazingara yale tumetoka wallahi sijasikia adhana kabisa. Nafurahia sana niki nikija simu mazingara ya waislamu ni wengi nafurahia sana kwa sababu nuru imejaa. Simu za isiolo nuru imejaa. Allah akbar. Allah akbar. Mungu ni mkubwa, Mungu ni mkubwa. Ngaini monene, ngaini monene kwa lugha ya kikamba. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa inna yongee wa dhaidwa ate wa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah inna kuziyaka na Muhammad ni muadhani wa ngai 
haya la swala hukimu dhaidhi ukimbo yani hiyo ni maneno sasa ile kidogo na watafsiria wakamba kule nikienda nyumbani kule nikifanya dawa kule nyumbani misituni kule na ambianga yale maneno Uislamu umechafuliwa jina na vyombo vya habari na vitu mingi tu lakini Uislamu ni dini na baki tu kuwa iko na mwenyewe na mwenyewe si mwanadamu mwenyewe ni Allah na Allah ndiye anamiliki dini Uislamu ni dini ya amani cha kwanza Uislamu ni dini ya amani Uislamu usikani na ubaya wote ambao unaofanywa na wanadamu Uislamu usikani na ubaya wote Uislamu ni dini imekamilika na ni dini ambayo haitaji fikra za wanadamu Uislamu ni dini imekamilika haitegemei fikra za wanadamu Uislamu ni dini imekamilika kabisa Uislamu umekamilika Ndio maana mtume anaambiwa katika Qur'ani A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Al-yawma akmaltu lakum dinakum wa antum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-islam dina yani leo tumekuridhia mtume sallallahu alaihi wasallam aambiwa katika sura Mahida leo tumekuridhia yani dini imekamilika na tumekuridhia wewe tumekuridhia wewe mtume sallallahu alaihi wasallam uislamu mtume aliridhiwa uislamu dini hii ni ya manabii wote kutoka nabii Adam kutoka nabii Nuh kutoka nabii Musa kutoka manabii wote Daud Elias Eliasa manabii wote walikuwa waislamu na hakuna moja alikuja kafarikiana na mwenzake wote walikuwa naabudu Allah peke yake kitabu hiki kinasema uislamu ndene wa Qur'ani na Biblia ni kitabu kinaeleza dini kwa lugha ya kikamba kitabu hiki ni ya, nilianza kukiandika mwaka wa 2015 2015 nikimaliza mwaka huu 2021 January kwa lengo na madhumuni kuafikishia manugu zangu katika kibinadamu wa kamba wapate kujua Uislamu na lengo langu ndio hilo kufikisha dini kwa watu wangu wallahi kitu ambacho kinaniuzunisha Uislamu ni kuwa katika familia katika familia yangu kuna watu wamekufa bila kuingia katika nuru ya Uislamu na nasema kama wewe umezaliwa katika Uislamu na umepata baba na mama wote wanamdhuku Allah wanamtaja wana Allah wanampata wana, unawapata wanasujudu wazazi wako wote ujue wako katika neema kubwa hakuna neema zaidi kuliko hiyo Muislamu usitarajie neema nyingine isipokuwa hiyo kama wewe umejipata wazazi wote mababu zako maanti zako makazi zako unapata wote wanamtaja Allah Umezaliwa katika mazingara ya Kiislamu. Wallahi sema alhamdulillah. Wala mimi nimewazika watu waine katika familia na wote si waislamu. Wajakubali wajapata nuru ya Uislamu. Babangu mwenyewe ameondoka bila kusema la ila ila Allah Muhammad Rasulullah. Ni katika neema ambazo ni neema kubwa sana. Ndugu zangu Uislamu. Alhamdulillah. Tunashukuru sana kwa yule ambaye ameweza kutupa nafasi kama hii sio nafasi ambayo unaweza kuipata kila mahali lakini tumeweza kupata nafasi kama hii alhamdulillah kuweza kuzungumza na nyie wasikilizaji na waislamu wote na alhamdulillah ni neema katika neema kubwa sana kupata nafasi kama hii nimejaribu jaribu alhamdulillah kuweza kufikisha dini kule nyumbani na wakamba wameslimu sana na kile kimesaidia sana ni digital hii mambo ya internet nini vitu kama hizo. Na kitu kingine nataka kuwakumbusha wale wanataka kunipata kupata kuona kazi yangu sana sana. Ingia kwa YouTube. Siku hizi si kama zamani, siku hizi CD ni digitali siku hizi mambo ya CD imeisha. Tunaingia katika hera ya YouTube. Mambo ni digital siku hizi. Ukitaka kuona mashere kama Eh, ukitaka kuona kishki shekhe wetu kutoka Tanzania siku hizi hata CD zake azuzi siku hizi unaingia kwa internet tu unaingia kwa YouTube unaona unaona kanda za shekhe unapata mawaidha unapata kuaidhika mashehe wote wako katika YouTube ukitaka kuona shekhe Uthma Uthmani shala Uthman Maalim unapata kumuona kwa YouTube na mimi sasa mimi niko na YouTube account ukitaka kuona kazi yangu ukitaka kuiona unaenda kwa YouTube account unaandika Rashidi Mutisia dawa unaandika Rashidi Mutisia dawa 
Na inshallah na wale pia wanataka namba yangu ya simu unataka ku, kuwasiliana shehe unataka kujua zaidi kuhusu kitabu na pale nimefikia inshallah na kama pia unataka kutupiga boost namba yangu ya simu 0708338841 narudia tena namba yangu ya simu 0708338841 hiyo ndio namba yangu ya simu. Narudia tena mara ya tatu 0708338841. Hiyo ndio namba yangu ya simu insha Allah. Kwa yule anataka ku boost kazi ya dawa na insha Allah kuchapisha kitabu hiki. Wallahi sisi tutowafanyeni dua kwa sababu kitabu hiki nahitaji ni kiprint niweze kuvitolesha copies mingi zaidi na zaidi ndio alhamdulillah nikifika vijijini nisiende mkono mtupu nikifanya dawa na watia vitabu na wambia wakambai e, akambai andomanga ye ninoka na ebuku ye na muma na ngayo latu thaidhamu sikiti inetu wa allai na ngayo sunda asia ananda asia wala mialidu wala miula na ngayo sunda iliake ndoe na muhammad ye ni muadhani wa ake na muthia wa adhani sasa hiyo ni maneno ambayo mkamba kiasikiza atajua anajua allah ndio mungu wake na hundi mungu wa kuabudiwa na nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ndio mtume wa mwisho hiyo ndio kazi ambayo imebaki ndugu zangu Islam kufikisha Uislamu na kudhihirisha Uislamu kwa sababu ya muda pia na pia naomba ustadhi wetu shakasa pia apate kutupa maneno mawili matatu na inshallah tupate kumsikiliza na upande wake na inshallah itakuwa ni khairi inshallah Sheikh Hassan Sheikh Omar Sheikh Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my brothers and sisters wameingia short short we thank Allah tabarak wa ta'ala kama shukran Sheikh Sheikh tumeenda kuosha bila kidogo kunradi pole alafu anataka uh, pia unaona mimi atakuwa na swali kidogo kwa sababu tu swali pia oh tuwapeni na studio 0700 ile amisho 0700 ni ni eleze namba ya simu namba ya studio comment oh to comment ni swali ni swali ni kwa simu kadha atakuwa na kadha inshallah mashallah alhamdulillah oh naweza kuwa kuna maswali 07 00 2 0700 kama mtu yote akona maswali atakuwa swali ama comments comments yote maswali comments tunataka kujua zaidi oh oh mashallah sasa ndio tunaingia so utachukua tu direct simu ukiingia ukichukua imeingia utachukua tu hapo ta receive tu hivyo eh Simu kiingia uta receive tu na hapo eh iko connected uh -huh. so mtu mwenye atapiga simu uh -huh. utapokea tu direct oh hapa tu eh hapa oh mm. oh mashallah alhamdulillah hata ni kama nimepigiwa eh eh kuna mtu amepiga kuna mtu anajaribu kupiga eh kija kwa street kwa line yangu so bora tu ile bio kwa studio eh kwa studio eh ni mzuri eh Hmm? Eh, noizi, utasema tu Sheikh mwenyewe ndo ataelekeza hapa. Hata hiyo namba 070052 mwenye atakwa na swali yote. Swali lolote apige kwa simu. Mwenye angependa kuweza kuzungumza nani hewani sasa hivi. Hmm. Anaweza kupiga simu mka mkazungumza mambo mengi sana. Eh, tuongee hewani. Sawa. Na mta tendelea ama nikuintroduce? Eh, utamintroduce alafu aanze tena. Ama 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 ni tangazi ama e, utasema pia tutawapatia fursa ukiwa uh -huh. na swali lolote jipange uh -huh. ukiwa na mapendekezo uh -huh. na pia ukiwa na uh -huh. ufafanuzi zaidi zaidi utawasiana okay. nasi utakuwa na muda ya kuuliza swali yako uh -huh. alafu mpatie shekhi ndio jipange wenye atakuwa na swali shekhi kimaliza uh -huh. kesi oh mashaallah yeah. Mwalimu 
Mashallah. Karibuni sana madugu zetu wasikilizaji. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Nishkarashid mtisi alhamdulillah kwa ujumbe ambao alhamdulillah tumeweza kupata ule anataka mawasi, anataka kuwasiliana na sisi inshallah apige kwa studio kwa namba hii 0700529963 narudia tena 0700529963 kwa masiliano ama kwa swali lolote ama kwa mchango wako pia Unaweza kapiga hiyo simu, kapiga hiyo namba inshallah tukaweza kuwasiliana inshallah karibuni tena inshallah. Shaka Hassan, nakupa fursa hii inshallah upate kutupa maneno mawili matatu inshallah ndio tupate kufahamiana zaidi inshallah. Kwa bila itofik. Asalamu alaykum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah wakafa wa salawatu lillahi ala al-Mustafa wa ala alihi wa sahbihi uli shurafa ama baad my dear brothers and sisters we aggrandize Allah tabarak wa ta'ala the most dynamic the most intomitable the most powerful for giving us juma it's a blessed day a very great day in front of us the day that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has founded us to us My brothers and sisters being a muslim is a great gift and that's the gift of la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are very much grateful to be in the count of isholo having coming from kisumu with respect to my brother from kitui we are islamic propagators teaching and propagating islam both the christians and the muslims at large My brothers and sisters today is Jumaa and I believe that uh, we have got some responsibility we as Muslims have to take part in particularly the sunnah that our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us and uh, with respect to that I believe that uh, this particular opportunity we've been given Allah says fadhakir we have to make you remember the responsibility number one, you have to be very much uh, aware that uh, going to the mosque early is very much crucial and significant number one, number two, taking bath number three, taking the perfume number four, uh, you have also to put on good nice cloth number five, you also have to not only even if you have a car or uh, you have a vehicle you can walk because walking is sooner towards the mosque and uh, at the same time my brother Salah says in the Quran as even I can quote Allah says in the Quran wa ma umiru illa liya'budullah khulusina la hudina hunna fa wa yuqimu salata wa yutu zakata dhalika dinul kayyim that indeed is a responsibility is an obligation that everybody should worship Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and give the zaka and the straight path and the straight religion with respect to that wa ma umiru filul amri is a responsibility is an obligation that we must worship Allah tabarak wa ta'ala friday is totally very different from the other uh, days because it all, it only has two rakats and at the same time it is the day that the qiyamah will happen it be, happen on friday number one, number two, on friday it is a great day because is a day whereby everybody also should take part in giving charity with respect to my brother here who has uh, particularly gone through his book he has done a very great work mashallah by writing a book to the kamba community ensuring that uh, the larger community embraces islam uh, this book as he already talked islam and in the quran and biblia he wanted to produce more copies alhamdulillah the muslims in isholo here they are very generous they are very good and at the same time if you want to talk to us through the studio we have our numbers there i think we have already been given the numbers which is 0700529963 you can reach us to the studio and uh, if there is anything you can uh, contribute to my brother here you can uh, let us know through this particular number 0700529963 any question any comment you can you can get us through this number with my brothers where i come from kisumu i'm from a christian family where by <coughs> very many people were perplexed they were flabbergasted about my conversion 
uh, have in coming whereby my mother is a Christian, my father is a Christian, but alhamdulillah I'm a Muslim. Takbir. Allah. Allah. It's a great nehma. Wherever you are listening me, whether you are cooking, I know you are preparing some dishes because of the preparation for the mosque. I know we also uh, preparing ourselves because of this Juma. Remember that uh, this dunya, we are living for a short while. And I remember the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our teacher, our role model, our intercessor in the Day of Assembly. He has made us to be the great, great Ummah. In the Day of Assembly, Isa Alayhi Salam will come, Adam Alayhi Salam will come on, uh, Ibrahim Alayhi Salam, all the Prophets, 25 Prophets will come, with five being the great, will be crying for their nafsi, 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 nafsi. But the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will come in, and he will say, Ummati, 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 my people, my people, my people, crying for the whole Ummah. That is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa ma ahsanaka illa rahmata lil alamin. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a rahmat to the whole mankind. Where I come from, we have, we have uh, churches have mushroomed all over. No Muslims, and Muslims who are there, they are just Muslims from Northeast and who have gone there to do some businesses. Our people are not Muslims. They are still exalting Jesus, alayhi salam. They are saying Jesus is God. I remember when I used to be in church during those days, after just, uh, uh, when even I was in high school, I did CRE, remember, I scored an A- in CRE, uh, primary level, secondary level, up to the university level. We used to exalt Nabi alayhi salam. Just in the local song, we used to sing Alinga linga uparango injili kalo yawa Alinga linga uparango injili kalo We used to exalt Nabi Isa But look at the Quran Which came to us Allah says in the Quran Tabaraka alladhi nazzal al-furukana ala abdihi liyakuna lila alamin al-nafira Blessed is he who has sent down the criterion to his servant That it may be an admonition to the whole mankind that is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The change, the gravitative change of the words of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has made an effect in the whole of Arabia, in Iraq, Allah in Iran, Allah in, in, Allah. all over. People have become Muslims. Allah. It's because of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I remember we have our brothers, the so-called the Sabians, the Ghassanites, uh, before they used to, they used to worship the idols, the Arabs themselves, they used to worship the idols. But there came the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu He brought the idols down and he exalted Islam. And as Allah says in the Quran, in the dina, in, in the Allah life, Islam. Islam. Islam is the only religion. Allah. My brothers and sisters, you've been raised up in an Islamic environment, born in an Islamic environment, whereby your mother, your father, your people are Muslims. You have to use that particular chance, that particular opportunity to exalt Allah. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Ikhlas, He begets not, nor was He begotten. True. He begets not, nor was He begotten. In the, the Luo language, Allah says, Ok onyol, to bend, ok onyol. He begets not, nor was He begotten. He is self-existence. He is transcendent. His imaginations are beyond human understanding. Allah, 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 Allah. Islam, is My brothers, just to the point, the core reason, the chief reason, the sole reason as to why we have uh, come to Isiolo is about the issue of this brother, whereby, inshallah, you call the numbers, as we had already told you, just call the number right here. The, stu the zero, studio number is zero, zero, zero seven. They have, they have comments and uh, zero zero and questions. Five two nine nine six three zero seven. You can call us from wherever you are. Where is it to be here? Simu zero seven zero zero five two nine nine six three. Wherever you are, you can call us from that number zero seven zero zero five two nine nine six three. Mashallah. Marhaba shukran jazilan wherever you are listening may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala accept our juma'a amen may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala accept all our deeds amen 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 whoever read surah al-kaf in surah al-juma Allah will protect him from two jumas jumas will protect him from sins we ask of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala inshallah to accept our repentance amen 
whoever reads Surah al Juma at the same time, 70,000 angels are going to protect him from both sides. We ask of the protection, inshallah, from Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, inshallah. May Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala bless you, inshallah, Barak Allah, fikum jazak Allah, heran, wa hayar wa lahum, alhamdulillahi rabbina alameen. Inshallah. If anyone kuna mtu yote na swali la kuuliza ama ana mchango wote wa kutangia pia anaweza kupiga hiyo namba ya studio 0700529963 hey, inshallah wa wasiliano ama unataka kuchangia eh mwa fikra zako mwa nini inshallah unataka kuchangia kwenye kipindi hii na kama kuna maswali maswali lolote unataka kuuliza mashehe tunaikaribisha insha Allah you open to ask any question mashaallah number is that is the studio 0700529963 wapo na swali au una pongezi waweza kutupigia moja kwa moja au kwa kuandika ujumbe mfupi mashaallah نعم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كاربوني تينا من جزيت واسكيلزاجي من جزيت وإسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته والسلام ورحمة الله وبركاته وما سيدنا زيد وابتا مشيخه نكوبتا مدوات ان شاء الله utawasiliana na sisi kwa namba zetu kibinafsi mawasiliano zaidi utanipigia kwa namba hii namba yangu ni 07 kwa kuwasiliana zaidi ni 07 41 na shehe wetu pia alhamdulillah anaitwa Sheikh Hassan Odo nadhani utapiana namba inshallah Sheikh Hassan tatu kenda sita saba nane nane kidogo mashallah alhamdulillah shekho yetu ameweza kujieleza vile mambo yanavyoendelea kule sehemu ya kambani na kidogo hapa katika studio nilikuwa na maswali kadhaa ama maswali mawili ningeweza ningependa kumuuliza kuhusu sehemu hiyo ya ukambani kwa sababu hata mimi vile vile nimeweza kukutana na yeye kwa sababu ya Allah na vile vile tutaachana kwa sababu ya Allah wachana ina maanisha yani kullu nafdha ikatul maut thumma ilayna turja'un wa hivyo urafiki wangu na yeye katika dunia hii ni kutumia la ilaha illa la muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam toi inshallah ndugu yangu ameweza kuelezea kuhusu kitabu chake ambacho kama amekiandika na vile vile amesema tu ameandika kitabu lakini ndani kidogo sijaweza kufahamu kwa sababu naona ni lugha ya kikamba uh, jambo muhimu ambalo kama labda umeandika katika kitabu hiki lengo muhimu haswa ni nini labda Mashaallah swali nzuri sana shaka wetu shaka Hassan. <coughs> Lengo kubwa kwanza kubwa zaidi ni kufikisha ule ujumbe ambao Mtume sallallahu alaihi wasallam alipewa aliopewa na hiyo ni kalimatu la ilaha illallah 
Muhammad Rasulullah. Lengo langu kubwa kuandika kitabu hiki. Kitabu hiki ndani yake kwanza nimeeleza kuhusu tauhid. Tauhid ni kule kumpwekesha Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu mmoja peke yake ambaye ni Allah. Na topic ya kwanza katika hii kitabu kwa kufanya ufupi na tufanye kila kitu kwa haraka haraka kidogo e, topic ya kwanza nimeeleza kuhusu kama vile kitabu nimepangia nimekipangilia content uh, ama kwa lugha ya kikamba maundo ala ukoma na na moibukuni ama yani yale maneno utayakutana nao kwa kitabu kwa mpangilio mada ya kwanza katika kitabu hiki nimeandika Uislamu ndhini wa Qur'ani na Biblia. Ni kitabu cha comparative. Comparative ama comparison baina ya Qur'ani na Biblia kwa sababu tukisema pia kitabu cha Biblia kuna Uislamu ndani yake e, yako maneno ambayo yana yanaeleza Uislamu. E, kitabu kile pia kinasema Mungu ni moja na pia Uislamu unasema lakini sasa Mungu ni moja. Na manabii walikuja kusema Mungu ni moja na sisi pia tunasema Mungu ni moja. Na pia kuna vipengele ambavyo katika kitabu cha wenzi wetu katika kibinadamu Uislamu uko ndani yake. Ni watu wakisome na wapate kuelewa ndani yake kuna Uislamu na umejaa sana. E, nadhani wakisoma kitabu kile kwa undani zaidi na wako makini watapata kuelewa Uislamu kwa ndani yake. Kwanza lengo langu kuandika kitabu hiki ni kufikisha Uislamu kwa manuku zangu wa kamba katika kibinadamu bado wajapata kuelewa Uislamu. Na nimefanya hivi kwa urahisi wapate kuelewa. E, kuna wengine mbona wanaambia ah mbona kuandika kwa lugha ya Kiswahili? Mbona kuandika kwa lugha ya Kizungu? Kuna vitabu viandikwa kwa lugha ya Kiswahili na kuna za Kizungu ziko za dawa na maduatu wamejikaka